Okay, so um, welcome to Pembroke College Sports Grounds. Um, yeah, uh, the grounds are here for the use of uh, students and members um, and I'm going to take you for a quick uh, trip round and uh, you can see the type of facilities that are here if you are uh, wishing to join Pembroke College and be a um, yeah, member of the uh, sporting activities of which there are many. So um, let's see how we do and um, yeah, let's go for it. Um, so you can see that um, we've got uh, netball courts, uh, tennis courts, grass tennis courts for the summer, AstroTurf tennis courts, uh, hockey pitches, rugby, football, cricket, and it's looked after by the groundsman Trevor and uh, his small team of uh, merry men. And uh, Trevor lives at the pavilion, not in the pavilion, but at it. And in the pavilion itself, we also have squash courts. So yeah, we'll take you around the hedge and let you see the uh, facilities in their uh, full glory on this uh, wonderful sunny day here in Cambridge. So here we are, there's the uh, pavilion, won't take you inside, but um, yeah, just panning round, you can see the kind of facilities that the students here at Pembroke College have. And um, hopefully if you join us here, you'll be able to enjoy the time down here and um, yeah, get take full advantage of all the sporting facilities Pembroke has to offer. So college accommodation, college guarantees accommodation for at least three years. It's cheaper than commercial or private rentals, especially in Cambridge, and a much easier process than applying via private landlords. Virtually all first years live on the main site while they're in residence. You only pay rent for the time that you're in residence, which is generally 30 weeks of the year. Uh, rent comes at a range of price points based on the type of room. There isn't one set fee for all rents. Uh, this is an example of college accommodation, red buildings we call it. It's created in the early 1870s as a further addition to the college to aid the growth. It's now home to around 30 students at any one time. The rooms themselves are mainly single study bedrooms, so no sharing, but there are also a few rooms with a bedroom and separate study. You'll find the everyday bedroom essentials, bed, wardrobe, chest of drawers, mirror, as well as study essentials like a desk, office chair, lamp, pin board for all your important notes, but not all rooms will have a wash hand basin. Another example of college accommodation is Foundress Court, which you see here. The building is attached to the Master's Lodge, which is home to the current Master, former Labour MP and now member of the House of Lords, Lord Chris Smith, over on the far side. Foundress Court was opened in 1997, holds approximately 90 rooms. It's also home to various other facilities, laundry facilities, gym, which is free of charge for college members after an induction, 24 hour available computer room with printing facilities, student common room, music practice room and performance space which is home of the Pembroke Players, theatrical society which was the starting point of prominent actors and comedians such as Clive James, Peter Cook, Jermaine Greer, Eric Idle and more recently Tom Hiddleston and Joe Thomas of In Inbetweeners fame. Foundress Court also includes accommodation which is adapted for wheelchair use with an ensuite bathroom and other facilities. There's a lift which allows students with mobility issues uh, access to all levels of the building. So here's another example of college accommodation, the Foundress Court building. Some of the rooms that you'll find, an example of the type that you will see as potentially a first year undergraduate. As We've already highlighted, you've got all your daily essentials you're gonna need, bed, desk, lamp, chair, wardrobe. This room has an example of a wash hand basin uh, in your room, as well as the shared facilities along the corridors. 
little view of the outside courtyard. And yeah, another example of college accommodation. Okay, so uh, in the screen area, which is the notice board area uh, between Ivy Court and New Court, we have the dining hall, which you saw the out of side of earlier on in the tour. So, let's go inside and uh, introduce you to the dining area for the college. Uh, the long tables, that's where the students will sit um, and you will have your breakfast, lunch, evening meal. Uh, your choice, whichever you attend, or all three, and uh, you would eat in here after collecting your food from the servery. The far end of the dining hall is the high table, that's where the fellows uh, dine. You can also dine in here um, if you don't have an evening meal. Uh, there is formal dining where you can get dressed up um, and you can uh, wear your gowns, uh, you come in here and obviously the food is served to you. Formal dining for a student costs £10.30 uh, for the evening meal and on average a two course meal in the college from the servery is round about uh, £5 or just a fraction over £5 but the food is great here, uh, the staff eat in here with the students uh, during the day and um, yeah I can vouch for it, it is really good food. So let's take a wander down um, and uh, see the dining hall from the other direction. Uh, events in here, well, they vary. Uh, formal dining, as I've mentioned. Also, we uh, use this area for the May Ball. Um, there are parties held in here, wedding receptions, and also some of the graduation uh, meals are held in here as well. So, just to give you an idea, this is the high table area for the fellows and you can just see their counter at the end where they collect their food and yeah just uh, turning round so that you can get a concept of it from the other direction so there we go that is the dining hall here at Pembroke College The college provides 24-hour computing facilities with free access to the internet. The computer room holds around 25 PCs and is located in the Foundress building in the basement. These computers are all part of the university managed cluster service which allows users to log on across the university. Photocopying is available, printing is A3 or A4 colour or mono printing as well as scanning and copying. You will only be charged for any prints released at the printer and print charges can be added to your end of term college bill. Pembroke Gym offers a variety of cardio and resistance equipment which is free to use to all students, staff and fellows. Anyone wishing to use the gym must complete an in gym induction session with the trainer who will explain how to safely use all the equipment. Once completed, permission will be added to your university card which allows unlimited access to the gym. During term time, gym inductions run most weeks at various times, however are limited to 10 people so booking is required. The gym can be found in the basement of Foundress Court, not far from the computer room. Hi and welcome to Pembroke College Boathouse. Uh, the boat club uh, <coughs> is open to all students and you just need to um, get introduced to the committee, the president and the captain and they'll uh, look after you. Uh, so it's just another facility here at uh, Pembroke College. <laughs>